everyone who is here. I'm here. I'm excited to be here crafting tonight. I see a few friends are on. So as you're hopping on, give a thumbs up, say hello, let us know that you're here. And um, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys in a little bit what we're going to be doing. Once I say hello to some of you, hello, Carleen. I need to grab some water. All right. So hopefully YouTube will get those notifications out. It is Thursday evening. Happy Friday Eve to everyone. Hope you all are having a great December so far. And some of you, this is your second time seeing me today because I was on Facebook today for our craft on the clock. Let's see if I can pick this up without the figures falling over. We had a cardboard craft day. So my little, my stable here is made out of cardboard. And then I also showed how I made the little figures using, oops, there goes one of my shepherds using the little wooden uh, doll figures from Hobby Lobby. So some of you were on Facebook today with me. And tonight I am on YouTube. This will be my last live for the week. Um, so let's have some fun. Thank you, Alyssa. I'm glad you like it. All right, I'm going to get live chat here because it always goes back to top after the video starts for some reason. There we go. Now I'm seeing your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that was very fun to make. There, I see live chat now. Okay, I see we've got some people on. So sometimes when, um, especially when it's getting close to craft show time or the holidays, Sometimes what I do live for you is not just for you, it's for me or something I'm making for someone else. And that's what tonight is. So I'm kind of hoping uh, two of the three people I'm making these for that sometimes hop on my YouTube lives won't. And if they do, they may already have kind of an idea. So I have three girlfriends who I am doing very similar gifts for. And I just wanted to show you, um, first of all, what I'm doing and then the part that I'm crafting to be different. So um, I got them each one of these like little illustrated devotional books from Hobby Lobby. These are, I think they were around five something. And then um, I found at Dollar Tree these little snap pouches. And then what I have inside is two different packs of the Crayola Super Tip markers. It's the bold and the classic. So 10 colored markers, a little thing to hold their markers in, and the devotional coloring book. Okay, this is the same for all three. Also the same is um, these little scripture cards that I got from Dayspring that are about about love. So it's little cards you can share about love with people. So what I'm going to do um, different for each of them, I found these were originally at Target's uh, dollar spot. It's a little tray and it's got screws here because it also came with a set of legs. Basically what you can do with these is like if I put the legs on this one, I could stack it on another one like this and you can just make whoops they're gonna fall you can stack these up but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate one of these for each of my three friends that on their desk they can keep these things and anything else they want that way if it's raised up and there's legs they're not losing any of their desk space if that makes sense so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint them just on the outside. And then for one, I'm using rub-on transfers. For another one, I'm going to Mod Podge scrap of paper. And for the third one, I'm going to use a pattern stencil. So you're going to see three different ways. Did my um, chat freeze up again? I'm just wondering why I'm not seeing... 
any comments. Okay, maybe it's because you guys were just listening to me talk, so nobody was typing anything. The last thing I see is Liz saying the nativity is beautiful. Is that the last thing? Just want to make sure. Okay, so that is kind of my plan. Um, the painting part should be pretty quick. I wasn't able to do any ahead of time because um, we had our Bible study tonight. And so I pretty much came straight home from there and started getting things ready. But this will be pretty quick. You got a surprise today in the mail. What do you mean you got a surprise with your craft club? What was your surprise? Tell me, tell me. Or was the craft club your surprise? Um, also want to remind you that the 12 deals of December are happening. Oh, they sent you two? Like in the same box? That's a bonus. Oops. Um, the 12 deals of December are happening today for a few more hours. There are a bunch of retired stencils that are uh, being re-released today for, um, for just today. And then, um, I just posted on Facebook tomorrow's deal is actually a brand new surface. It is a 15 inch white beaded round. So if you are familiar with the craft club we had um, a few months ago where it was the smaller, the 12 inch white round with beads and it was the shine like a sunflower um, stencil. So this is going to be a new surface, uh, 15 inches. Um, it's just going to be available tomorrow until it actually releases probably in two to three months. So if that's something that interests you, again, you can go on tonight. There's a bunch of retired stencils that are re-released just for today. And this is all on my Magnolia website, which you can get to from the Linktree link that I put in the description here on the live. Thank you. Okay, so my one friend, her favorite color is like an aqua. So this is agave. If you've watched me craft at all, you've seen me use this color before. And these boxes are pretty cool. Now, I don't even know if Target, this was a while ago that I got these. And actually, I bought these after they were in Target when they were at the bargain bins. They are clearancing them out. I feel like I need to just come up around the top edge. But I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush for that. I don't want to make a big mess. Uh, I hit 100,000 subscribers this past Sunday. And I know that because we were at our small group and we had just finished uh, watching the Chosen episode that we were watching. And I just glanced down at my phone and it had turned. It was like, it was like I needed three more for an hour, it seemed. And then all of a sudden, and now it's like, what, 100,400 or something like that. It's crazy how fast, but I'm blessed. We are blessed. Um, this It's been an incredible journey that led me to Magnolia, um, that allowed me to earn a trip for my husband and I to Charlotte for the Biltmore, and then... Next month, we're going on our very first cruise because of Magnolia. It's just awesome. God is so good. All right. So what I was going to say is if you can't find anything similar to this, you could just do um, a crate, a wood crate, or um, a small wood tray. Or maybe you want to do those little $3 tote bags from Hobby Lobby that we've stenciled. That would be really pretty too. Okay, so here is box number one. I did the agave all the way around and I just went a little bit around the edge and that's all I'm gonna paint on this. This is the one that is going to get sunflower rub-on transfers. Okay, so we'll set that one over there. Oh, I hope so too. They haven't, um, 
want you here and there and join us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sue. Um, I don't know. They didn't, I mean, I did get an email saying, hey, you hit 100,000 subscribers. But I think they just, because they have my address for, you know, my pay payment information. Wow, this is really thick. I said that last time I used it too. Um, I think it's just going to show up. Like, I I imagine once you hit 100,000, they just like start the process of the actual production of getting it made because it has your channel name and everything on it. So it'll just be a surprise when it shows up. It'll be interesting to see how many uh, subscribers I actually have when I actually get the get the plaque. But I will definitely be showing it and still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for some sort of giveaway. That one will just be here on YouTube. It will not be advertised on Facebook because this is just a YouTube accomplishment. All I'm doing right now is stirring paint. I will definitely show you when I'm doing the stencil. If you want to see the paint painting instead of me, I can put it down. But all I'm doing right now is I'm just painting around the outside of this box. I had to add some water to my ballet slipper paint because it was really thick. So, so think outside the box. If you want to do a gift like this for some friends, um, you could even just do the coloring book and maybe some color pencils or something like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I am. It's, it's been quite an accomplishment. I mean, quite a journey. I never would have, you know, when I started it, I never thought, oh, you know, in five years, I'm going to have a hundred thousand subscribers. I just kind of started because I liked crafting and I liked teaching and that was a way I could be creative and share it with other people. So I appreciate all of you along the way who I have met and who have subscribed and watched my videos. It's been awesome. Can't wait to see where we are in the next five years. All right, this paint is taking a little bit longer just because it's so thick. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah, last month was a very, very good month on YouTube, I will just say. And it seems like November usually is. It's like people who don't watch YouTube all through the year, they tend to watch it, I think, in December because they want ideas for Christmas. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? All right, let's just do now the around the edge. Here, I'll show you. Some of you want to see this rather than me. I'm not using painter's tape because I figure if it gets really bad, uh, like down where it shouldn't be, I'll just get out my little sander and sand it away. Okay, this color is called Ballet Slipper. It's a light baby pink. This one, I'm going to be adding the flower um, scrap of paper, probably just on the bottom. The two long sides have like a, a little space and I'll probably just measure that and do the paper on the bottom half, I think. Do you guys think I should also paint the legs? I won't do it on the live, but we'll see what it looks like when they're done and see if you think I should also paint the legs. The nice thing about the legs is they can choose to use them or not. If they would rather it just sit flat on the desk, they don't have to put the legs in. All right. That looks pretty good, I think.
right. Thank you. Yeah, this is... Oh, Rita, stop. You're going to make me cry. Yep, this is ballet slipper. Really pretty. I got to find more space to put things. Okay. Then this friend loves blue, like royal blue, cobalt blue. So we are using ocean. Oh, and this one needs to be stirred too. add a little bit of water to this one too. Thank you, Pam. You're so sweet. Cookie. You guys are awesome. Hey, Sue. All right. This is ocean. All righty. Same thing. And then probably once I'm done painting this one, the uh, the teal one might be ready to get some rub-on transfers going. So I'm curious, do you, do you ladies have like a few, like a small group of friends that you, um, I don't even, this isn't really exchanging gifts because we didn't really like say, hey, let's all get each other gifts. It's just something I wanted to do for these three who've been, um, you know, pretty prominent in my life, especially this last year. But do you, do you do any gift exchange, anything like that? Thank you, Polly. You're so sweet. I think, um... You guys are familiar with the five love languages uh giving gifts and acts of service are two of my two of my biggest on the gift scale to give and to receive so i like coming up with little gifts for people they don't even have to be like super expensive i just feel like meaningful which is another reason magnolia fits so well with me Oh, cool, Pam. Yeah. It is fun. Another idea I have, I think around Valentine's, I'm going to put together, um, it's called a My Favorite Things Party. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It's like you, you invite a certain number of people, or at least you kind of have to know how many people are coming ahead of time. And you probably want to keep it to like 10 or less because... You ask each person to bring 10 of their favorite thing of something. So like uh, maybe you say you bring 10 of your favorite snack, something to eat, or your favorite scented lotion from Bath and Body, or your favorite color nail polish, or your favorite book, or something like that. And you can put like a dollar limit on it. But let's say I had favorite um, Bath and Body Spray or something like that. I would buy 10 of that one item and each person would do that. And then when you come to the party, you know, you have some snacks, whatever. Um, and each person goes home with one of each person's favorite thing. Doesn't that sound like fun? So I think that would be a fun kind of friend gift exchange thing to do away from the craziness of Christmas. All right, this is ocean blue. Finishing up the rim here. And then we will get our Magnolia products going. All right, so I mentioned that a couple more hours, three more hours-ish for the retired stencils that are for sale on my Magnolia website. And then tomorrow's going to be the exclusive 15-inch beaded round uh, surface. All right, I'm running out of room. Let's just put this one here. Okay. 
Oh, tote bags. Awesome, Susan. Susan, welcome. Susan is the newest creator on our team. She joined yesterday. So fun. Susan, are you on Facebook as well? Make sure you send me a friend request on Facebook. All right, let's finish this drying. Okay, you're diving right into crafting. Yay! Crafting, as you've seen from some of the comments on here, crafting has um, helped a lot of people, especially I think since COVID. Um, just having something to do with your hands and creating uh, really has been meaningful for people. Okay, so I'm going to take my 400. I'm just going to lightly sand just to smooth it a little bit more sometimes when you paint it leaves a little bit of you know um brush strokes okay i will also wipe that a little bit with my paper towel. See, just to get some of that extra dust off. We don't want that to keep our rub-ons from sticking. Okay. I don't have baby whips for my fingers, but I think we'll be okay. Now, there's four sides to this, and I probably don't want to use this whole sheet but um, what I'm thinking is I can kind of cut some. So I think this, this one here is obviously going to be used the whole thing because um, it's just kind of one piece. So I'd imagine this one would kind of be at the front. Kind of like this. And I'm wondering, I might just do one on each side. We'll see. I think I want to make it so like this is the front, okay? So with our rub-on transfers, when you peel the backing off, you have the back of the transfer is sticky. Wherever the white is is sticky, but this plastic is not. So I'm going to be able to place this down on my surface. and press it down. Now, do you see this gap right here? I'm going to have to really make sure I press the uh, transfer into that space so that it's fully adhered. Okay. So once you've got it stuck down, we're going to just start burnishing it. That just means pressing really hard. And this is our burnishing tool. It has a handle, which is nice. You can always use a gift card or, you know, something like that. Credit card. All right, now, this is where I want to make sure, and I might have to wait till I get the plastic actually off. I'm going to want to really make sure I press this down into the space. I'm gonna gently rub that with my finger as I start to lift it. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just pressing 
gently where that little gap is. Press the rub on down into that space. And I think I got it. Now there's a couple of places where the transfer goes past the edge. So I just am going to sand that gently. What do you think? Look how easy that was. Can you see how I pressed the rub on down into that space? And it did that no problem. All right, so that's the front. I used one of these rub ons. And then I think what I might do is maybe these two smaller ones. I'll do one on each side. I think I'm going to leave the back blank. So let's cut this one. And this one with the leaf. All right. What do you guys think so far? So I think I'll do this one kind of sideways like this. You would add a sunflower, oh, in the crate. Hmm, like a little surprise. All right, we'll see, we'll see what I do. I, I wanna make sure I can get at least one or two more projects out of this sheet, maybe in frugal. All right, so I'm gonna go here and I'll show it to you in just a second. Once I get it pressed on, see like that? So I made sure I had it so the stem was coming off here. See, I'll rub it this way so you guys can see, otherwise it's too tall. Any of you used any of our rub-on transfers yet? They're so awesome. Gorgeous colored images and so easy. I will spray this box on all the sides um, just to make sure everything stays. Trying to figure out how to do this. All right, I think I'm gonna cut this little stem off of the leaf because it seems a little awkward. All right. So we'll do one more side here. Press that down. Um, I guess I'm going to have to attach this one all the way first so I can take the plastic off. Okay, then put the sunflower down. So easy. I love these rub on transfers. And there we go. Front, side, 
and oops <laughs> that's a little the extra and side okay so here's my question here are the legs let me show it to you and see if you think I should paint them or just leave them the natural color leave them the natural color. Hope I don't strip this because I got to turn it all the way. There we go. See? So that way it can be on the desk. It can have the, the book or however you want. You can have it like this, the cards, the markers, all in the little case. And it's up out of the way. What do you guys think? Leave the, yeah, natural to match. I like that. These are some gifts for some friends, Monique. Um, for three friends, I'm making these for their Christmas gifts and I'm making them kind of to their color and flower preferences. Okay, so that is number one, the sunflowers. Let's go to the pink. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take some strips of scrap of paper. This is my pink friend. She loves pink. Let me ask you guys what you think. She says pink and purple. I painted it pink, but I'm thinking of doing on this bottom strip, maybe even just on the front, but I think I would also do it on the sides and the back maybe of either this paper for more pink or this paper with the flowers. What do you guys think? I gotta sand this one first. Oh, thanks Monique. I don't wanna get green. You like the first paper? I see flowers, first one flowers. Well, they both have flowers. So the pink flowers or the different color flowers. Yeah, you got, they both have flowers. <laughs> Which flowers? Pink flowers or colored big flowers? Okay, different colors, second one, the big flowers. Okay. Okay, so for this one, we have to do a little bit more measuring So I just want to measure this bottom section. Oh boy. And it's one 
and oh wait no yeah one and like three-eighths of an inch you know what? I think I'm just gonna do one and a quarter so we'll do one and a quarter inches by 10 and then there's gonna be a little extra so let's get our trimmer all right so one and a quarter inch Why is my paper not straight? It's weird. That's gonna be pretty. All right, by 10. So let me cut two inches off since this is 12 inch paper. Okay, so there's a strip for that side and then I'll just trim that tiny little bit off. Okay, let's do another one and a quarter inch. Okay, that'll be for the other side. And then the short sides measure six and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut two more strips then. Because if I cut this 12 inch in half, it would only be six. So there's another one and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I'll do this side. Something is funky on this side of that paper. It's not lining up right. All right, last one. One and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay, so we've got our four strips that we need. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Mod Podge and... I'm going to go ahead and put it on this whole bottom section of the crate here. And actually, I'm going to end up going all the way up because I don't want a weird line where you can see, oh, this has Mod Podge and this doesn't. I want it to just look even like the whole side. All right, this is cardstock, but I am going to just mist a little bit of water on the back so it kind of grabs on to the Mod Podge and I'm centering it top to bottom and pressing it down. I'm trying to get the same amount of space on the top of the paper and the bottom. That is so pretty. And then I will trim this little extra that's here once it's done. Once it's done drying. Okay, so I might have to do that one in stages because I don't wanna set it down when um, 
The Mod Podge is still wet. All right, so let's come to our blue. I'm going to get a new little sandpaper here. And let's sand our blue. Oh, we have some going, going good night. Good night, everybody. Now this one, I'm going to stencil on. Again, I'm just smoothing out the, I did sand these before I painted them. But sometimes when you do the paint, they get a little bit of a rougher texture. So we'll smooth that out a little bit. All right, so the stencil I'm going to use for this one is Butterfly Pattern. It's mostly these, like, what would you call this? Like leaf pattern, kind of, and then a butterfly every so often. So I'm just going to lay it across and stencil, and then I'll move it down for the next side, and so on. So I'm going to start kind of down here towards the bottom of the stencil. And it doesn't even matter if I have it straight because it's such a kind of a care, I'd call it a like a carefree type of pattern. I'm just pressing it down really well so it'll stick to the surface. And I think I'm gonna do white or should I do like dusky blue so it's real subtle or I could even do blue on blue I could do old glory blue I think that's what I'm going to do she loves royal and cobalt blue so I think I'm going to do that let's add a little water here to my old glory blue and stir it up. I think it's almost time to get a new Old Glory Blue. Don't forget to do your paste and ink maintenance. A little bit of distilled water and give them a stir once a month if you're not using them often. You don't want them to get all dried out and gross. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna go down in the crack. If some gets down there, that's okay, but, well, actually now I think it's gonna get down there. We'll see what it looks like. Sometimes when you have cracks like that, it gets a little too much down there, but we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. I could always just take, um, Take the chalk paste and just fill in that space so it's kind of solid. Ooh, I really like the blue on blue. So 
Sorry, I know this is in your way right now. Show you. Ta da! What do you guys think? I love it. Love it, love it. And I think I'm going to leave it. I think the stencil got okay in there in most of the spots. So I'm going to leave that. Okay, so <clears throat> I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. This one, obviously, I'm going to have to do in stages. Let this dry before I you know, put it down, um, to do the other one. And then same with this. I'm going to have to let each side dry with the Mod Podge on the paper before I turn it to do the next one. And then the easiest one was our sunflower rub on transfers. So see if you had multiples of these, you can stack them inside each other like this but these are going to three individual people and um i will post pictures when i have them all done and i will also um post on the community tab here on my channel uh tomorrow's deal that is the 15 inch beaded round so tomorrow is the eighth and then we'll have 9th 10th 11th 12th so we have five more days of deals coming so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the thumbs up. And um, I will, let's see, next time I'll be on YouTube will be Monday night for my next video. I'm pretty sure, don't be mad if I change my mind. I'm pretty sure Monday night's video is going to be uh, Dollar Tree Wood DIYs, not necessarily Christmas. Okay. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.